Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 16 Complete CRUD Tutorial Step by Step. This is part 2 of the episode. In the first episode, I covered the introduction and I gave you the demo of the application that we are going to build, which will be a credit card portal, admin portal that we will build from scratch. I will not reuse anything, I will not do copy paste. Instead, what we will do is do everything step by step coded. So today we are going to do installation and setup. These are the topics that I will cover as part of this series. It will cover almost all aspects of Angular that you need to learn master, including the latest ones like standalone components, signals and much more. All right, so without wasting any time, let's get started and do the basic setup and installations that are required. So let's jump right into, so these are the steps we will do today. These are the five steps we will do we'll go over the requisites that you need to run this project we'll do our initial setup of angular cli we will run and create a new project then we'll do angular material installation we'll also set up our apis using the json server finally we will run over and start the application right so that's what we plan to do today let's get started and like i said we will not I don't have anything ready I'll do right from scratch here so if you see I'll go here and create a new project I'll say angular 16 crud so this should give you a good starting point end to end right now what we will do first is the npm installation of CLI so like I mentioned I gave you all the commands that I will be running so if you can use this slide for your reference so first thing we'll need to do npm install at the rate angular slash cli now what this will do is install the angular command line interface i am not using the option hyphen g because it would do it globally all right but instead if you want to do it globally you can run with the option hyphen g i'm not doing it i'm building it in my local folder only all right so if you can see here in the package.json it has got the dependency angular cli 16.2 so we are working on angular version 16 all right so once that is done the next thing we will do <coughs> is create a new project so you will write ng which stands it's an angular cli command ng new project name and the one that we'll give is credit card admin now <coughs> if you run into this issue where you see uh, command not found even after installation that means you are running in ZSH instead you can switch to bash all right so once you do that that should solve the problem and now angular 16 now you will run the same command here so you will write ng new followed by the name of the project which is credit card admin and it would ask you some options like would you like to add routing say yes which style sheet I'll be using SCSS and then it would start the installation and dependency whatever is required for the project setup it would start installing in the background let it complete that particular option it may take few uh, minutes depending upon your network speed but in the meanwhile please do hit that like button for me please do subscribe do let me know your feedback your comments uh, any any valuable inputs you have for me all right so it has said successfully initiated git and it has packages are all installed everything is good so clear this and now you can see here we have got our application in created okay you can see the source code everything is up to date all right if you are coming from other <coughs> versions like say angular 8 10 etc where you would see e2e folders etc it's not there in angular 16 onwards but i'll cover that separately as part of angular 16 tutorial <coughs> all right so what we have done is we have completed our step number one which is to install angular cli and also created a new project let's go ahead and add angular material so angular material is nothing but it's a ui framework that comes that's, uh, that has a lot of components built in for Google 
by the Google Angular team itself. So this is the URL that has all the components that we will be using to design the Angular. So whenever you work on any ang uh, enterprise project, chances are if, you're, if they are on Angular framework, they might be using Angular material design. All right, so that being said, the way to install, we'll add ng add at the rate angular slash material. Okay, so that's the command you would run to install angular material in the project. Hit enter and says this command is not running when the is outside workspace. That's right, because we need to navigate inside the folder and then run that command. So it <coughs> now again, it will ask you for some packages. You can see here it is saying angular 16.2.1. So yes, we would like to proceed. Yes. And it would ask us to select the theme that we can choose any theme that of your choice. And we can always customize the colors and the brand identity. In this case, I'll go with indigo pink if that's OK. And I will select yes typography I want include and enable animations yes so now you can see it says it has updated the module updated angular json index and style.css so that means our angular material is successfully installed we clear that you can go to package.json and you can see all the things that are required for angular project which involves angular of course which is 16 and it has gotten router platform browser material forms core compiler animations zone and rxjs these are all the things required under dev dependencies you can see other things like jasmine karma these are used for unit testing all right and some of the scripts that are built in available you can see here <coughs> So we got uh, ng serve, which will start the application to build. We have ng build, watch and test. All right. So this is the package.json. So now our application setup is third step is complete. The last step we will do is installing the API. Since we'll be working on this project, we will need a real time data to work with. In most cases, you can you will have a URL right a rest endpoint that will be given to you by the backend team or some other team or you might want to build it yourself in our case we are building it ourselves so that's why we will need the json server locally you can install it by saying npm install json server so what json server does is it will help us in creating a fake restful endpoint locally okay and we can easily get started with that now now that we have installed json server <coughs> i'll go into the main folder which is credit card admin and i'll create a new file i'll call it db.json so this will act like a database for us our application okay that's where the data will be served when you run the query now in this this is nothing but it's a just a json file OK, so let's go ahead and create that data. I'm going to say credit cards and I'm saying it's an array. We'll build an object. Let's give a unique ID for each of these entries. Then let's call it card name. And let's call this Bank of Rekha. Now, similarly, uh, I'm building the object uh, that from where it would be served. All right, and then let's put some description. Offers customers with ID of options. Okay, you can add anything there. I'm not going to <coughs> say max credit for this particular card. And whether it's active, it will be a Boolean, true or false. We can also have an annual, let's say zero for this. 
um, interest rate uh, say 13.5 percent <coughs> and then let's say there is a intro offer I'm trying to build um, many um, attributes so that we can do a lot of variations and calculations and those stuff that would be uh, interesting all right uh, recommended recommended let's say credit score will give a variation let's say 600 to 800 this and what else let's say you have a dependency so we can say number of applications for this particular loan right <coughs> last, um, last okay we need few more dates let's say creation created date uh, and then I'm going to say today's date right uh, let me know which credit card do you guys have and which one you prefer what are the benefits all right so terms and conditions you can add the following <coughs> applicable <coughs> perfect so we got a um, object that we created which is the credit card details and these are the details that will get mapped into our UI when we start editing displaying etc so that's all you need as part of <coughs> this object you can what you can do and that is your homework which is I will create some more cards like this copy paste them and change the values um, to one two three and give the different different bank details make it some proper looking data okay I will create and share you that but that would be uh, towards the end when I share the entire repo with you but for now I'm just adding few uh, details here you can change them alternate okay I'm not wasting your time here but I will create this object with some meaningful data okay I will share it uh, in the repo also okay so let's say we have our <coughs> database ready okay this is what is the database from where JSON server will give the data now how do we serve it right the important thing is to see it in action so if you do a ls you can see that you should have db.json in the main folder level that is at arc admin level you can see here db.json so the command to run it is you will type json's let me clear this so it's <coughs> so you will write json hyphen server then you will say hyphen hyphen watch and you will give the file name it this is the file name that you just created which is db.json if you have given any other name give that name and hit enter and now you can see that it is saying these are available and it's ready to test let's go ahead and test it first so if I go into my browser and I type localhost 3000 slash credit cards I will see a JSON response that's coming out which is nothing but an array of all the data that we are getting so this is a API that we just built okay now we can use this API to do various HTTP um, operations like post put delete update etc which is what crud would be other way is you can also use postman tool and you can say get param here and type the URL and hit send and you can see it in the postman also the API response okay you have the status you have the data all right so that completes uh, the installation of JSON server I hope you are comfortable till here and you are able to successfully navigate I'm going to open another bash and keep this running in the background learning angular 16 crud then credit admin all right so here now I am in this folder inside the credit admin in a new terminal I can close this and all we will do is type the command ng serve okay what it would do is that it will compile the application build the application and start the development server 
the development server starts always at 4200 port but we can change and customize it for now I'm leaving it at localhost 4200 you can see the message it says compiled successfully <coughs> so you can go and you can type localhost 4200 and this is what you should see if you are seeing this screen that means the task for today's episode is complete <coughs> that means you started the application successfully and we are good to start coding all right so follow these uh, five uh, steps that I have covered I hope uh, you will be able to get to this if you have any doubts let me know in the comment section I'll be more than happy to help you <coughs> in the next episode we start coding we first we will start the template and the layout design for our application we'll build a responsive kind of a header sidebar and the main content area using angular material i hope uh, you like this series uh, i'm putting in a lo lot of effort i hope you appreciate it please do like this video please do share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode